How many videos have I done about packing and moving in for college, you might ask? A lot. But here's another one anyway. I just have more tips for you guys. Like I've talked about in my other videos about the similar subject, like packing for college and everything, packing and moving can be a very daunting task, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So I have some tips to make your life a little bit easier on move-in day. My first tip is that if you're going to be bringing anything to college, such as a big trunk or a fridge or just anything that takes up a lot of space like that, if you are just going to be buying it for college and you don't already have it, if you have a store that you're going to be ordering it in the city that you are moving to or just near your university, such as if you're going to Walmart, if you have a Walmart near your university, which you probably will because Walmarts are everywhere, just using that as an example, and you were to buy a fridge or a trunk or just a big item from there, order it on Walmart's website have it shipped to the Walmart near your university, and then pick it up on move-in day. So that way you don't have to worry about something taking up a lot of space in your car when you're trying to move everything else in as well. So like if your car is already packed down with suitcases and other boxes and stuff of things that you're moving in, the last thing you wanna do is add a huge fridge box or a huge trunk box or something into your car, especially if you just don't have room. So by ordering it and having it shipped to a store near your university, you can pick it up at any time that day after you've already emptied out your car, you have a lot of space in your car now because you've emptied everything out into your dorm or apartment, and you can go drive, pick it up, and that way you're not trying to shove everything into your car at one time. My next tip is something that is similar to what I mentioned in my how not to overpack for college video, which is filling up containers that you are going to be bringing. Now in my how not to overpack video, I talked about using it as a limitation to keep you from overpacking, but in this instance, what I'm meaning is if you're taking any sort of, I used a makeup container example in the last video, or maybe just a container of some kind that you were going to be using for storage in your dorm or apartment, just fill that up with what you've already intended to fill that up with. That way it lessens the amount of boxes and things that you have to bring because you're not just bringing an empty container, you are bringing a container filled with stuff that you're just gonna put in a different box. That one might be a no-brainer, but I just wanted to add it in there just in case. You never wanna bring an empty container you wanna fill it up with stuff, so that way you are saving space in your car. Another tip is use big bags or boxes when you are moving as opposed to smaller ones, so that way you have to take less trips from your car to your dorm. It can be tempting to take smaller boxes or just smaller bags full of stuff so it's not as heavy, but once you start lugging everything from your car to your dorm or to your apartment, it starts to get tiring or you're having to make a million trips when you could have saved yourself that by just using bigger boxes and bigger bags to put stuff in. So just to save yourself 500 unnecessary trips, uh, use bigger containers, bigger bags, bigger boxes. That way you don't have to make so many trips to your car, to your dorm, back to your car, back to your dorm, and you know, all that good stuff. My next tip is pack things together that you plan on storing together. If you have a big box, don't just put a bunch of random stuff in there. Say you're planning once you get to your dorm to keep sort of your school supplies and your cleaning supplies in the same area. Pack them in the same box so that way it's just easier when you're unpacking in your dorm, you'll have everything sort of where it's already supposed to be so that way you're not unpacking boxes and having to stick random things in random places and just constantly go into different spots in your dorm to unpack. You will have everything together where it's gonna be, so that way you can sort of unpack all at once. So maybe you're unpacking everything into your top drawer of your desk, you don't have to worry about putting one thing from a box in that top drawer and then another thing from the box over in a different set of drawers or whatever, you can just sort of unpack everything at the same time, at the same place. I hope that makes sense. That just makes life easier and more organized when you're unpacking everything into your room. My next tip is if you are able to get in contact with your roommate before school starts and just during summer at some point, ask them when they are going to be moving in and play Plan to do it a different day than them. Dorms are very, very small, as I'm sure we all know, and when you have two different families or just two different people trying to unload and move in at the same time, it gets very, very crowded. So I just recommend picking two different days for moving in, so that way you're not doing it at the exact same time. If your roommate's gonna be like your best friend and you're really excited to be moving in together, that's one thing, but if you don't have a reason for wanting to move in with your roommate at the exact same time they're doing it, I definitely recommend not moving in at the same time as them. It's just way too crowded, it's way too difficult, and it's just much easier to do it on different days. Okay, now my last tip might sound kind of obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway, and that is to pay attention to where you put your stuff 
in your room. Now, I know this might sound super stupid and like obvious, but I'm telling you, when you have been in the same room for a very long time and suddenly you're moving into a different space, that like the first couple of days of having things in a new place that you're not used to, it gets kind of confusing and you forget like, wait a second, where did I put that lip gloss? Where did I put my screwdriver? Where did I put my dish soap? Where did I put my face wash? Where did I put my headphones? I remember the next morning after moving into my dorm, it took me way too long to get ready in the morning because I was just looking for everything because I'd forgotten where I put it the day before. I mean, I had reasons for putting everything where I put them, but I wasn't consciously thinking like, okay, I put this in this drawer, I put this in this drawer, I put this behind this, I put this in the closet, I put this in this place. Because you just, that's not something you think about a lot of times when you're unpacking. You're just thinking, okay, this makes sense to put it here. This makes sense to put this here. I'll just put this here. Oh, I'll put it in this drawer just get it out of the way. So just especially the important things that you are unpacking, just make a mental note of where you're putting things so that way you're not super duper confused the next morning when you're trying to look for stuff. Even if you do make a mental note, it will probably take you a little bit of time to remember where you've put everything just because you're in a completely different environment in a completely different place with all your stuff in different areas that you're not used to. Just make it a little bit easier on yourself by paying attention, unlike what I did. I did not pay attention and then I was really confused the next day, so. Those are my move-in day tips. I hope at least one of them was helpful for you. And if it was, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to me. I put out new videos every single Friday. Sometimes I've been putting out videos on Tuesday too. We're just getting a little crazy around here. If you have any suggestions or questions that you wanna see, leave them in the comments and I will respond or make a video that you want me to make. If you enjoy college videos, I have a college playlist. If you would like to check it out that has a ton of college-related videos in it, if you are interested. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Thank you.